In this video, we'll make a simple wrench in AutoCAD 2D. So let's start with the line tool and I'll start with line tool and make a line with length of 70 units. Now let's go to the line tool again and click on this endpoint and make a line in the upward direction with length of 5 units. Repeat the line tool and make it in the left direction with the length of 5 units. Now go to the circle tool and click on this endpoint and make a circle with radius of 10 units. Repeat the circle tool. Click on this endpoint and make another circle with 10 unit radius. Now type ML for multi-line and go to this justification option, select 0. Now go to scale and change the scale to 8 and press enter. Now click on this endpoint and on this endpoint of the line and press enter. Now we'll extend this. For that, go to this extend tool, press enter. And now click on this endpoint and then on this endpoint of the multi line and press enter to escape it. Now go to the trim tool, press enter and trim some of the unnecessary geometries like this. Okay, now we'll remove these geometries. These are also no longer required. And we can also remove this line from the drawing. Okay, now we'll move this line to this midpoint and we'll also copy this complete geometry from this base point to this end point. Now we can reduce the size of this by using scale tool. So select the scale, select the complete geometry, click on this base point and enter a scale factor of 0 0.9 units and press enter. Now the size is reduced and now we will make a rotation out of this so we'll rotate it so select rotate command click on this base point and now rotate it with the reference tool so select reference click on this point now click on this point and rotate it approximately to this angle okay now let's go to the offset tool and select the offset distance of four units press enter and click on this line, click upwards, click on this line and click in downward direction and press enter. Now remove this line, it is no longer required and we'll also trim a geometry. So select the trim tool, press enter and trim these two circles here. Now let's go to the fillet tool and now go to the radius and enter a radius of 30 unit, press enter and select the multiple option to repeat the fillet tool. Select this arc and this line, select this line and this arc. Now press enter twice to repeat the fillet tool, go to the radius and this time enter a radius of 8 units. And now click on this arc and this line, press enter, now click on this line and this arc. And here we have it. Now to add the detail, I'll go to the rectangle tool again and click anywhere in the drawing area. It hardly matters where you click and make a rectangle with length of 40 units and a width of 4 units. So type add 40 comma 4 and now go to the fillet tool, select the radius option, enter radius of 2 units, press enter, select the polyline option and click on any of these lines to apply fillet on all the four edges. Now I'll move this geometry, so I'll move it to this end point. And now I'll move it downwards to a distance of two units, just like this. Now, if you want to add the detail to this drawing, you can also apply fillet on some of the sharp corners in this wrench. For that, I'll go to the fillet tool. But before that, we'll just explore these two multi lines. So explore the multi lines. Now go to the fillet tool, select radius and enter a radius of one unit. And now select this multiple option to repeat the fillet tool and apply the fillet between this arc, this line and also repeat it for this side. And here we have it, the final wrench as per our requirement.